the temperature t at any point suppose x y z in space is given by the equation t equal to 400 x y z square find the highest temperature on the surface of the unit sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1 so you are given a unit sphere we know the equation of a sphere is x square plus y square plus z square since it is a unit sphere r equal to 1 so the equation x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square will be equal to x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1 so this is the constraint or condition given and uh, the objective function is given by t equal to 400 x y z square and we have to find out the temperature at any point in space so this can be solved by using the constant maximization using lagrange multiplier as you know in lagrange multiplier any function can be represented by f x y z which is the objective function that is t equal to 400 x y z square and uh, plus uh, lambda lambda is your lagrange multiplier and phi x y z which is called the constant or condition and the condition is given the unit sphere so 400 x y z square this is the function plus lambda x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 as i have discussed in the previous video to find out the constraint maximization we have to take the partial derivative of this given function f with respect to x that is equal to 0 then the partial derivative of y with respect to 0 then the partial derivative of z with respect to 0 like this if you find out the partial derivative of this function with respect to x then for this function this will be equal to 400 y z square and for this it will be equal to lambda into 2x that is equal to 0 so lambda 2x will be equal to minus 400 y z square suppose this is equation number 1 similarly you can find out the partial derivative of f with respect to y if you take the partial derivative of 400 x y z square that's no, with respect to y it will be equal to 400 x z square and partial derivative of this with respect to y will be equal to lambda into 2y that will be equal to 0 so lambda into 2y will be equal to minus 400 x z square suppose this is equation number 2 similarly taking the partial derivative of a with respect to z to 0 the partial derivative of 400 x y z square with respect to z that will be equal to 400 2z into x y and partial derivative of this with respect to z will be equal to lambda into 2z that will be equal to 0 so lambda into 2z this will be equal to uh, minus 400 2z into xy suppose this is equation number 3 now you multiply x in equation 1 y in equation 2 and z in equation 3 and you after multiplication x y z in equation 1 2 and 3 respectively you add the three equation if you add the three equation this will be equal to 2 lambda into x square uh, if you take um, if you take common 2 lambda then this will be equal to 2 lambda taking common uh, in the bracket you have x square plus y square plus z square i have done here that that will be equal to okay this will be equal to 2 lambda taking common this will be equal to 2 lambda into x square plus y square plus z square that will be equal to minus 400 into x y z square you yeah, are also in equation 2 you have x y z square and equation 3 you have 2 x y z square so if you take x y z square common then this will be equal to 400 plus 400 plus 800 so minus 1600 x y z square so lambda value 
will get that is equal to minus 800 xyz square. In equation 1, we have lambda into 2x that is equal to minus 400 yz square. So, if you put the value of lambda in equation 1, then it will be equal to minus 800 xyz square that will be equal to minus 400 yz square. So, from this you can calculate the value of x that is equal to half. And if you put the value of lambda in equation 2, then you will find out the value of y that will be equal to 1 by 2. You can calculate it. I have calculated it. Similarly, if you uh, put the value of lambda in equation 3, then you will get the value of z. The, the value of z will be equal to 1 by root 2. Now, if you put the value of uh, x, y and z in the equation, that is the objective function. The objective function is t equal to 400 x, y, z. So, if you, uh, that, that means uh, 400 into the value of x equal to half, value of y equal to half and value of z is equal to, that is also equal to half. Then, the value of t will be, sorry, it will be equal to z value is equal to 1 by root 2. So, z square value will be equal to 1 by 2. So, you will find out the temperature will be equal to 50. So, you have temperature uh, 50, there is no unit here. So, the temperature is 50 at any point x, y, z in the space that is t equal to 400 x, y, z square uh, and that is the highest temperature. This is the highest temperature because you have solved it by using constant maximization. Like by using Lagrange multiplier, uh, we have calculated it um, to find out the constant maximization. That is the constant condition is given and uh, the value of ma maximize, maximize value of temperature or maximum value of the temperature is equal to 50.